socks here that I just washed and dried. Um, I actually washed these in the washing machine. Um, I just did them by themselves in cold, delicate cycle with some of my soak wash. And then I dried them delicate. Um, I had to do it like three times because they're still really damp, but I want to do it like slow, like low and slow. So yeah, washed and dried them in the machines, uh, worked out just fine, and I'm gonna pair them up and put them together. I um, am running out of my Christmas socks because I've worn them all and didn't get a chance to wash them until now. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Basketball player. Yannis and Tedekumpo. You can say that really well. Good job, buddy. Wow. I'm impressed. Hi, everyone. Happy December 21st. Today has been an interesting day. I have been home. It's uh, almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I've been home because our boys, as you guys know, had been feeling under the weather, um, brought them to our pediatrician yesterday just to be on the safe side, and we are positive for RSV. So that's a viral, <clears throat> like a virus that really is concerning when it's in little kids. So the fact that Weston is positive for RSV, um, we have to be like just very vigilant and careful with him. Um, keep an eye on his breathing and all that stuff. Keep him hydrated. Hudson too, but um, it just presents itself as a bad cold in older kids and in like adults. Whereas with little kids, they can have um, respiratory issues. So um, I've been home with the boys today and we will not be able to do any of our family plans this weekend. Um, so we'll be home, um, <laughs> which will be just fine. Um, the main thing is, is that they get healthy and feel better. But what that means for vlogmas is I am not sure how much I will be recording. Um, it's not just that, I mean, we're going to be home. It's not like, you know, taking care of the kids. There's definitely some, a little bit of downtime. I mean, it's tiring. Don't get me wrong. Hudson is napping right now. Thank goodness. Um, he's such a sweet kid, but when he's sick, when we're all sick, it brings out the worst in us, right? It's just challenging, like it would be for any kid, for anyone. So thank goodness he's getting some sleep because he was starting, he slept until 8 o'clock this morning, but um, he was starting to get real cranky. So he's been sleeping for about an hour, woke up a little bit with some congestion, but then he fell back to sleep. And then Weston's been sleeping for probably about 45 minutes. So that's really good. The more sleep they can get, the better. Um, I ate lunch, I picked up a little bit, and I'm gonna heat up my coffee. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just kind of on tender hooks waiting for them to wake up again. I might sit. I might sit and drink my coffee. 
Maybe I'll edit a little bit more. Oh, Winston might be waking up. Um, but, so I'll wrap this up. But basically, if I do record, I'm unsure of how much it'll be at this point. And I will maybe combine days just because I still want to do a little bit. Um, oh, what I was going to say before is that like right now it's just, I'm just tired. I'm just not, I don't, I'm not focusing on that. Obviously I'm, I'm obviously focusing on the kids. So, um, I'm just not grabbing my phone, my camera really much. Um, I might get little things here and there over the next few days and then maybe I'll just do a, a combined, um, video. So anyway, I'm going to see, oh. He fell back to sleep. Sorry about the dryer too. The dryer, the, this is the laundry room. It's right off the kitchen. So really convenient, but kind of loud. Um, since Weston is still sleeping, I thought maybe let's open up day 21. This one is called Gumdrops. I did look at the name before I brought it out. And that's super pretty. The other bummer. One of the other bummers is I brought my Christmas Eve cast on yarn to be caked up at work. I don't have my own Swift and ball winder, so I bring it to to work where we have plenty of them. And then yesterday, it was kind of sudden that I brought the kids to the pediatrician. We kind of made that decision while I was at work. Um, I had to pump really quick just in case I didn't have a chance to feed Weston and then leave to go pick them up. And, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I didn't get a chance to cake up my yarn and it's still there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I have some other yarn that came. Um, it's a homespun house, farmhouse Christmas. Yeah. And I might knit with that. It's a mini and a 100 gram skein, and I can cake up the mini by, or uh, ball up the mini by hand and do that and start on the toe of my sock on Christmas Eve. And honestly, I probably won't get further than that. I was thinking I would get a lot, a fair amount done because we were uh, planning on driving on Christmas Eve. Um, and, yeah, I would have been in the car for a while, so I was like, oh, I can get some of my sock knit. But yeah, that's not the case anymore. So I will hopefully get a little bit of the toe done and I'll easily be able to wind cake up or ball up a 20 gram mini. So that's my plan now. And then the sock set that I got to be this year's Christmas Eve cast on will be pushed back to next year, which is totally fine. So. Yeah, just rolling with it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and for hanging in there with me. And honestly, this is kind of like, it's like checking in with a friend when everything is crazy. I have a little bit of something to sort of get my mind off of it a little bit. And yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like, I feel like I'm not, not so alone out here, so. Okay, I'm gonna go sit. I might um, upload another video. I'm a few days behind, but I know everyone doesn't mind. You know, you know things are busy, so um, I'll get a little bit of that done and sit and drink my coffee, and then maybe I'll have a little bit more time before the kids wake up. I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday, and I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this, but thank you for watching and for being there for me. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. I got these in the mail yesterday. Some beautiful soaps from Kayla of the Angora Moose. Um, I purchased these from her Etsy shop. She does Angora yarn. She raises Angora rabbits and they have a homestead in Minnesota, I believe. So I saw that she was making some Jersey, some soap from her Jersey cow, um, cream from her Jersey cow. Wow, I cannot 
string together a sentence and making soap with it. And I really, really wanted to try some. So I bought three. They're really nicely priced. I don't know. It's, it's quite a large soap and it's like all natural ingredients made by hand. Um, this one smells amazing. This is chai tea, sorry, chai tea latte. <laughs> this one is really good too. This is Lover of Evergreens. It smells like a Christmas tree. And then this one I thought would be really good. This is orange and clove and there's a dried orange right in there. Isn't that cool? So anyway, um, I think I might give one or two of these away as Christmas presents. Um, but I'm definitely keeping one and I'm trying to decide between Lover of Evergreen and Chai Tea Latte. I can't decide yet, so we shall see.